Tovu Oh ha lecha Yaakov Mishkenotecha Yisrael Ma Tovu Oh ha lecha Yaakov Mishkenotecha Yisrael ואני ברוב חסדך אבוא ביתך, אשתחווה אל היכל קדשך ביראתך. אדוני אהבתי מעון ביתך ומקום משכן כבודך, ואני אשתחווה ואחראה, אברכה לפני אדוני עושי, ואני תפילתי לך אדוני את רצון, אלוהים ברוב חסדך. ענני באמת יישך. שוכן עד מרום וקדוש שמור וכתוב רננו צדיקים בנוני לישרים נבטהילה בהפי ישרים תתהלל ובדברי צדיקים תתברך ובלשון חסידים תתרומם ובקרב קדושים תתקדש. בכי נפשי את אדוני וכה קרבה את שם קדשו בכי נפשי את אדוני, ואל תשכחי כה גמולו. הסולח לכל עווניכי, הרופא לכל תחלואיכי, הגואל משחת חייכי, המאתרכי חסד ורחמים. ברכי נפשי את אדוני, וכה קרבה את שם קדשו. ברכי נפשי את אדוני, ואל תשכחי כה גמולה. הודו לאדוני כי טוב, כי לעולם חסדו. הודו לאדוני כי טוב, כי לעולם חסדו. הודו, 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 הודו לאדוני כי טוב. הודו, 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 הודו לאדוני כי טוב. Give thanks to the Lord, He is good. His mercy forever endures. Give thanks to the Lord, He is good. His mercy forever endures. Give thanks, give thanks, give thanks, give thanks. Give thanks to the Lord, He is good. Give thanks, give thanks, give thanks, give thanks, give thanks to the Lord, He is good. May your name be praised forever, our King. Blessings and thanksgivings from this time and forever. Blessed are you, O Lord, God, King exalted through praises, God of thanksgivings, Master of wonders, who chooses musical songs of praise, King, God, life-giver of the world. And we all say, Amen. Yishtabach shimcha l'ad malkeinu Berachot v'hodot me'ata v'yad olam Baruch atar onai 
אל מלך אדום בתשפחות, אל ההודעות אדון הנפלאות, הבוחר בשירי זמרה. מלך אלכי העולמים. ברכו את ארוני המבורך, ברוך ארוני המבורך לעולם ועד. ברוך ארוני המבורך לעולם Shema Israel Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Baruch Shem ואהבת את אדוני אלוהיך בכל לבבך ובכל נפשך ובכל מאודיך. והיו הדברים האלה אשר אנוכי מצבך היום על לבביך. ושיננתם לבניך ודיברת בם ושבתך בביתך ובלכתך בדרך ובשכפך ובקומך. וקשרתם לאות על ידיך והיו לתותפות בין עיניך, וכתבתם על מזוזות ביתך ובשעריך, ויהבת לרעך כמוך. It is now time for the Amidah. On Shabbat, we recite seven blessings as opposed to the 19 blessings of the Amidah. So we begin with the three first blessings, honoring Hashem for His faithfulness his power and his holiness. Then we go to the sanctification of Shabbat. After that, we ask him to restore the service of the temple, which is us asking Hashem to send Messiah. Because when Messiah returns, the temple service will be restored and Jerusalem will be rebuilt. After that, we give thanks for answered prayers and then we thank him and pray for the peace of all Israel. Before we say Amidah, it is customary for us to begin with Mika Mocha. And Mika Mocha is the song that Israel sang after they crossed the Red Sea. Who is like you, O God, in all the earth? There is none like you. And Mika Mocha is really getting our hearts ready so that we can stand before the King of Kings, that we can know that the one before whom we stand is all powerful. He is almighty and he is amazing. So let us join together and sing Mika Mocha and then we will begin reciting portions of the Amidah. Mi ha mo ha ba li hi ma do na Mi ka mo ha ne da ba ko desh Na ho ra ti hi hi lo t A ho se pe le who is like 
make thee a lord among the gods. Who is like thee, glorified in holiness? You are awesome in praise, working wonders, O Lord. Who is like the Lord? Adonai sefatai tiftach ufia gitehilatecha. Adonai, open my lips, that my mouth may declare your praise. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Velohe Avoteinu Elohe Avraham Elohe Yitzchak Velohe Yaakov Ael Hagadol Hagibor Vahanora Hello, young. Go, male chasadim tovim. Vekone ha kohol. Vizocher chasdeya vot. Who may be go er live nave in a hem. Le man shemo beahava. Melech Hoser, who Moshia, who Magain. Melech Hoser, who Moshia, who Magain. Baruchata Donai, Baruchata Donai. Magain Avraham. Baruchata Donai, Baruchata Donai. Magain Avraham. King Redeemer, her Savior and Shield. King Redeemer, her Savior and Shield. Blessed art thou, blessed art thou, Shield of Abraham. Blessed art thou, blessed art thou, Shield of Abraham. Ata gibor le olam Adonai Mechaye metim Ata rav le hoshia Mechal keo chayim bechesed Mechaye metim Berachamim rabim Saumech noflim Berofe cholim Umatir asurim, umkaye memunato, lishe ne afar. Mihi chamocha bal giburot, umihi da melech, melech me mitu mechaye, umat miach yeshua. Veneamanata la hachayot metim. Baruchata Adonai mechaye ha metim. Nechade shechem kaba olam. Keshem shemakti shimo to bishme marom. Kakatu valyan vieja, vecharaz el seve amar. Kadosh, 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 Adonai tsevaot, melocho haaretz kevodo. Adir Adirenu Adonai Adonainu Matir Shimcha Bechol Haaretz Baruch Hevold Adonai Mimchomo Echad Hu Eloheinu Hu 
אבינו הוא מלכנו, הוא מושיענו והוא ישמיענו, ברחמיו לעיני כוחי. אני אדוני אלוהיכם, ימלוך אדוני לעולם. אלוהי ציון לדור ודור, הללויה. לדור ודור נגיד גוד לך, ולנצח נצחים קדושת זכר נפתיש, ושפחך אלוהינו מפינו לא ימוש לעולם ועד. ברוך אתה אדוני האל החדוש. ושמרו בני ישראל את השבת, לעשות את השבת, לדורותם ברית העולם. ביני ובין בני ישראל, אותי לעולם. כי ששת ימים עשה אדוני, את השמיים ואת הארץ, וביום השביעי שבת וינפש. In Zechariah chapter 8, the Lord promises to bless Jerusalem. In verse 3, this is what we read. This is what the Lord says, I will return to Zion and dwell in Jerusalem. Then Jerusalem will be called the faithful city and the mountain of the Lord Almighty will be called the holy mountain. Let us join together in praying for the rebuilding of Jerusalem. To Jerusalem your city, may you return in compassion and may you rest within it, as you have spoken in Zechariah 8.3. May you rebuild it soon in our days as an eternal structure, and may you speedily establish the throne of David within it. Blessed are you, Lord our God, the builder of Jerusalem. Amen. We give thanks to you, for you are the Lord our God and the God of our fathers forever and ever. Through every generation, you have been the rock of our lives, the shield of our salvation. We thank you and declare your praise for our lives that are in your hands, for our souls that are entrusted to you, for your miracles that are daily with us, and for your wonders and your favors that are with us at all times evening, morning, and noon. Beneficent one, your mercies never fail. Merciful one, your kindness never cease. We have always placed our hope in you. For all these acts, may your name be blessed and exalted continually, our King forever and ever. Let every living thing give thanks to you and praise your name in truth. God, our salvation and our help. Blessed are you, Lord, whose name is the Beneficent One, and to whom it is fitting to give thanks. Sim shalom tova uvracha, chen vachesed vrachamim vrachamim aleinu, ve'al kol Yisrael, ve'al kol Yisrael amecha, barakeinu avinu kulanu chechad, ve'or panecha. Kivor panecha natata lanu Adonai aloheinu. 
Sim shalom, tova uvracha, chen vachesed vrachamim vrachamim aleinu, ve'al kol Yisrael, ve'al kol Yisrael amecha, torot z'chaim ve'avat kesed, ve'avat chesed, u'tzadach ha'uvracha Vichayim vishalom, sim shalom, sim shalom, tova uvracha, chen vachesed vrachamim vrachamim aleinu, ve'al kol Yisrael, ve'al kol Yisrael amecha, v'tov b'necha levarech et amcha Yisrael. בכל עת ובכל שעה, בשלומך. שים שלום, טובה וברכה, חן וחסד ורחמים ורחמים עלינו, ועל כל ישראל, ועל כל ישראל עמך. ברוך אתה אדוני המברך את עמו ישראל בשלום. Grant peace, goodness and blessing, grace and kindness and mercy to us and to all Israel your people. Bless us our Father, one and all, with the light of your face. For by the light of your face you have given us, Lord our God, a Torah of life and love of kindness, charity, blessing, mercy, life, and peace. May it please you to bless your people Israel at all times and in every hour with your peace. Blessed are you, Lord, who blesses his people Israel with peace. Amen. And as we come to the end of the Amidah, we close with Psalm 1915. And we say to Hashem, may the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable to you, O God, my rock and my redeemer. Adonai Tzuhuri Vegali Adonai Tzuhuri Vegali May the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be My rock and my redeemer, ye Le 
לפניך. אדוני צורי וגולי, אדוני צורי וגולי. It is now time for the Torah service. Usually, in a synagogue, at this time, the Torah scrolls are removed from the Aron HaKodesh, or the Holy Ark. And this is usually done with a series of biblical verses that are chanted from Numbers 10, 35 reminding us of when the ark was carried forward and Moses would say, Arise, Lord, and may your enemies be scattered. May your foes be put to flight. It is also customary for us to recite from Isaiah 2.3, which is a beautiful reminder that the Torah shall go forth from Zion, the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. Let us now prepare our hearts to hear the reading from the Word of God. Ein kamocha v'elohim Adonai v'yein kimasecha Machutcha machut kol olamim umem shaltecha v'chol dor v'ador Adonai Melech, Adonai Malach, Adonai Himloch, Leolam Vahed, Adonai Oz Liamo Yitain, Adonai Yevarech, Et Amo Vashalom. Vayehi bin soa ha'aron, vayomer Moshe, kuma Adonai, ve'afutsu oivecha, ve'yanusu misanecha, mipanecha. Ki mitzion, Tetze Torah, Ki Mitzion, Tetze Torah, Udevar Adonai, Mi Yerushalayim, Baruch Shenatan, Torah, Torah, Baruch Shenatan, Torah, Torah, Le'amo Yisrael, Bihikdushato. Barku et Adonai Hamvorak. Baruch Adonai Hamvorach Le'olam Va'ed. Baruch Adonai Hamvorach Le'olam Va'ed. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Malek Ha'olam. Asher Barkar Banu Mikol Ha'amim. Venatan Lanu Et Torato. Baruch Ata Adonai. After you have had children and grandchildren and have lived in the land a long time, if you then become corrupt and make any kind of idol, doing evil in the eyes of the Lord your God and arousing his anger, I call the heavens and the earth as witness against you this day 
that you will quickly perish from the land that you are crossing the Jordan to possess. You will not live there long, but will certainly be destroyed. The Lord will scatter you among the peoples, and only a few of you will survive among the nations to which the Lord will drive you. There you will worship man-made gods of wood and stone, which cannot see or hear or eat or smell. But if from there you seek the Lord your God, you will find him if you seek him with all your heart and with all your soul. When you are in distress and all these things have happened to you, then in later days you will return to the Lord your God and obey him. For the Lord your God is a merciful God. He will not abandon or destroy you or forget the covenant with your ancestors, which he confirmed to them by oath. Ask now about the former days, long before your time, from the day God created human beings on the earth. Ask from one end of the heavens to the other. Has anything so great as this ever happened? Or has anything like it ever been heard of? Has any other people heard the voice of God speaking out of fire as you have and lived? Has any God ever tried to take for himself one nation out of another nation by testings, by signs and wonders, by war, by a mighty hand and an outstretched arm? or by great and awesome deeds, like all the things the Lord your God did for you in Egypt before your very eyes? You were shown these things so that you might know the Lord is God. Besides him, there is no other. From heaven, he made you hear his voice to discipline you. On earth, he showed you his great fire and you heard his words from out of the fire. Because he loved your ancestors and chose their descendants after them, he brought you out of Egypt by his presence and his great strength to drive out before you nations greater and stronger than you and to bring you into their land, to give it to you for your inheritance as it is today. Acknowledge and take to heart this day that the Lord is God in heaven above and on the earth below. There is no other. Keep his decrees and commands, which I am giving you today, so that it may go well with you and your children after you, and that you may live long in the land of the Lord your God gives you for all time. Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu Malek HaOlam, Asher Natan Lanu Torat Emet, Vekaye Olam Nata Betokeinu, Baruch Ata Adonai, Noten HaTorah. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam Asher Barkar Bin Vi'im Tovim Veratza Vedivrehem Hane Emarim Be'emet Baruch Ata Adonai Habocher batora u Moshe abdo u Israel amo u vin vi e ha amet vat Comfort, comfort my people, says your God. 
Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and proclaim to her that her hard service has been completed, that her sin has been paid for, that she has received from the Lord's hand double for all her sins. A voice of one calling. In the wilderness prepare the way for the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be raised up, every mountain and hill made low. The rough ground shall become level, the rugged places a plain, and the glory of the Lord will be revealed, and all people will see it together, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. A voice says, Cry out! And I said, What shall I cry? All people are like grass, and all their faithfulness is like the flowers of the field. The grass withers and the flowers fall because the breath of the Lord blows on them. Surely the people are grass. The grass withers and the flowers fall, but the word of our God endures forever. You who bring good news to Zion, go up on a high mountain. You who bring good news to Jerusalem, lift up your voice with a shout. Lift it up and do not be afraid. Say to the towns of Judah, Here is your God. See, the sovereign Lord comes with power, and he rules with a mighty arm. See, his reward is with him, and his recompense accompanies him. He tends his flock like a shepherd. He gathers the lambs in his arms and carries them close to his heart. He gently leads those that have young. Who has measured the waters in the hollow of his hand, or with the breath of his hand marked off the heavens? Who has held the dust of the earth in a basket, or weighed the mountains on the scales and the hills in a balance? Who can fathom the spirit of the Lord or instruct the Lord as his counselor? Whom did the Lord consult to enlighten him, and who taught him the right way? Who was it that taught him knowledge or showed him the path of understanding? Surely the nations are like a drop in a bucket. They are regarded as dust on the scales. He weighs the islands as though they were fine dust. Lebanon is not sufficient for altar fires, nor its animals enough for burnt offerings. Before him all the nations are as nothing, They are regarded by him as worthless and less than nothing. With whom then will you compare God? To what image will you liken him? As for an idol, a metal worker casts it, and a goldsmith overlays it with gold and fashions a silver chains for it. A person too poor to present such an offering selects a wood that will not rot, They look for a skilled worker to set up an idol that will not topple. Do you not know? Have you not heard? Has it not been told to you from the beginning? Have you not understood since the earth was founded? He sits enthroned above the circle of the earth, and its people are like grasshoppers. He stretches out the heavens like a canopy and spreads them out like a tent to live in. He brings princes to naught and reduces the rulers of this world to nothing. No sooner are they planted, no sooner are they sown, no sooner do they take root in the ground than he blows on them and they wither and a whirlwind sweeps them away like chaff. To whom will you compare me, or who is my equal, says the Holy One? Lift up your eyes and look to the heavens. Who created all these? Baruch Hata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Tzor Chol HaOlamim Tzadik Bechol Adorot 
האל הנאמן, האומר ועושה, המדבר ומחיים, שכל דבריו אמת וצדק. על התורה ועל העבודה ועל הנביאים ועל יום השבת הזה שנתת לנו אדוני אלוהינו לקדושה ולמנוחה לכבוד ולתפארת על החול, אדוני אלוהינו, אנחנו מודים לך ומברכים אותך. יתברך שמך בפי כוחי, תמיד לעולם ועד. ברוך אתה אדוני, מקדש השבת. When the Torah scroll is returned to the Aaron, it is customary for us to say, When the ark was set down, Moses prayed, O Lord, dwell among the myriad families of Israel. Come up, O Lord, to your sanctuary, together with the ark of your glory. May your priests be clothed in righteousness, and may your faithful ones rejoice. I have given you precious teaching, Forsake not my Torah. Then we sing Eitz Chaim. The Torah is a tree of life for those who take hold of it. Eitz Chaim hi Lama chazikim ba Vetam cheha Meushal Derecheha Darche Naam Vecham Netivateha Shalom Hashivenu Adonai Elecha Vena Shuva Chadesh Chadesh Yameinu Chadesh Yameinu Kekedem
Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in the earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Avinu shabashamayim yitkadash shemecha. Tavo machutecha yea seretzoncha ba'aretz kasher nasa vashamayim. Ten lanu hayom lechem chukenu. Uslach lanu at ashmatenu. Kasher sochim anachnu lasher ashmulano. Viat tivienu lidei masa. Kim hatzilenu min hara. Ki lecha hamam lecha. Vahagvura Vahati Feret Laomeola Mim Ame Shabbat Shalom and welcome to our weekly sermonette. The Ten Commandments or Aseret Hadibrut were communicated by God to the people of Israel at Mount Sinai, fifty days after the Exodus from Egypt. The event is known as the giving of Torah. God then carved the Ten Commandments onto two tablets of stone, which he gave Moses. Moses smashed the tablets, and God carved the Ten Commandments onto a second set of tablets, which were subsequently placed in the Ark of the Covenant. Ten Commandments are not the entirety of God's instruction for his people. There are 613 commandments. However, the Ten Commandments contain within them the kernel from which the others emerge. So let's take a look at the Ten Commandments, beginning on the right, and then we go to the left. You shall have no other gods before me. You shall not make unto yourself any graven image. You shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Honor your father and your mother. You shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness against your neighbor. You shall not covet anything that is your neighbor's. Looking at the two tablets, you'll notice that in addition to the commandments on the second tablet being much shorter, the subject is different than the commandments on the first tablet. The commandments on the first tablet are about spiritual matters between man and the Creator. The commandments on the second tablet, however, seem to be about material matters, with no apparent connection to God or spiritual pursuits. In fact, while every one of the first five commandments include God's name, His name is not mentioned once in the second set of five. Yet, all the commandments are given equal weight because embedded in these simple acts of decency is the formula for God's plan for the world. If you add up all the Hebrew words on the second tablet, you'll arrive at the number 26, the numerical value of God's four-letter name. Below the surface, God is as present in this set of commandments as he is in the ones where he is overtly mentioned. The takeaway for us this week is that God is always present in every area of existence. Sometimes his hand is plain to see, but other times not so much. However, the fact that we don't see, feel, or hear God 
does not mean that he is absent. He is always there. Shabbat Shalom. As we conclude our worship service this afternoon, we will sing Ein Chaloheinu. Ein Chaloheinu, Ein Kadoneinu, Ein Kilmalkeinu, Ein Kamoshienu, Mi Chaloheinu, Mi Chadoneinu, Mi Chilmalkeinu, Mi Chamoshienu. No del lo heinu, no del adone heinu, no del emo keinu, no del emo sheenu, Baruch elo heinu, Baruch adone nu, Baruch ma keinu, Baruch mo sheenu. Atta who elo heinu, Atta who adone heinu, Atta who ma keinu, Atta who mo sheenu, Atta who shakti ru, Ava ho tenu, Lefahanecha et kitoret Lealenu, it is our duty. It goes in part, it is our duty to praise the master of all, to acclaim the greatness of the one who forms all creation. And we bend our knees and bow down and give thanks before the ruler, the ruler of rulers, the Holy One, blessed is he, the one who spread out the heavens and made the foundations of the earth, and whose precious dwelling is in the heavens above, and whose powerful presence is in the highest heights. Adonai is our God, there is none else. Our God is truth and nothing else compares. As it is written in your Torah, and you shall know today and take to heart that Adonai is the only God in the heavens above and on earth below. There is no other. Aleinu l'shabayach l'adon hakol L'atet kidula l'yotzer b'reshit Shelo asanu kagoye haratot Velo samanu kimishbechot hadama Shelo sam chelkeinu kahem Vigod aleinu Kechal hamonam Vanachnu korim Umishtachavim Umodim Lifne melech Malche hamlachim Hakadosh baruchu Shehu note shamayim v'yoseid aretz U'moshav yikaro b'ashamayim mimahal U'shchina tuzo, u'shchina tuzo B'gav hei meromim U'eloheinu einod Emet malkeinu efet zulato Kaka tu betorato, via data yom, via data yom, vache vota eleva vecha. Ki adonai huha elohim, vasha mayimi mal, via alharet, via alharet. Mitachat Eino Veneman Vehayadonai Lemelech Hau Kol Haaretz Bayom Hahu Bayom Hahu Yie Adonai Echan Ushema, 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 Ushema,
bless you and keep you. May the Lord shine his face toward you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift his face toward you and give you peace. <laughs> 